This isn't how they do it on Blue Peter. Someone stuck the hole first. <laughs> My name's Miranda Brooks and I'm a landscape architect. We are planning the bulbs that we're going to be planting next spring based on what did well and what's been trashed by children and all the other things in this garden. I felt like I planted so many marsh and lilies, but I'm seeing three. Is that literally... the only one that's out? I see two, but it could have been a cat problem because I saw some buried ones. It's just such a thrill to, when you see them arriving in the spring when you haven't seen anything flower for months, months, months. So I feel that they're the sort of treasures that bring the most joy and the most attention. Choose your bulbs when they're out. So make sure you look at your own garden, you go and visit gardens, you make all your notes while they're actually out. Don't just get seduced by a catalogue. I take a lot of pictures and then I draw on the pictures where the gaps are, because you can't see where they are until the bulbs come up. Next tip, don't forget to order them, because if you don't start ordering them by September, you won't get the special things that you want. Number three, make sure you plant them the right way up. I want to be a trial's depth, and then the little bulb goes in, point a bit up, hairs down, in it goes. They're going to be planted with about four inches apart, and I'd sow them in clumps. So we're pretty evenly spread out. After the bulbs have gone in, then I like to do a biodynamic feed for soil improvement and then I mulch with a well-rotted leaf mulch. Okay, see you in the spring. I'm in my greenhouse and I'm just gonna go through some of my kit that I have to have for my garden. This is my seed line, making vegetables in lovely straight lines. 